Alright, today we're going to be talking about the new fake malicious software removal tool, and it tries to promote a non-existent rogue called Shield EC Antivirus. So we'll go ahead and run this, uh, I guess it's a setup file, and wait for it to do something. So it's running right here. Alright, so it goes ahead and throws up this fake um, Windows Update thing saying that it's downloading the malicious software removal tool. And these links, I believe, go to the real Microsoft website. Yes, they do. Okay, so we'll click Next, and it will go ahead and scan your system for infected files. It's already found two of them. And this takes, I think, a couple minutes. I don't know. Alright, so the fake scan took one minute, two seconds. And it's going to go ahead and tell me that it's found some malicious software and some of it is removed, but a lot of it says not removed. That's pretty bad. So it's saying that it can't remove all the, the uh, malicious software, and it's telling me to find some recommended antivirus software. So it's going to search for some. Not 32 Nope. Panda antivirus? Can't cut it. Shield EC antivirus? able to remove Malikus. And it says it's found the necessary antivirus and to click finish to purchase recommended antivirus software. And unfortunately for us, the site is down. That figures. I wanted to have a look at it. But yeah, I don't think there is a real Shield EC antivirus rogue out there. I think it's you just buy it and then they send you nothing. So I don't think there's a program to test. And after you close it, it's fairly annoying. It might pop up every minute or so and tell you, uh, like, malicious software was detected. Go ahead and stay unprotected, and it'll tell me something from the old rogue desktop security 2010. Are you still willing to keep this dangerous files on your computer? We'll click yes. And it tries to block Internet Explorer. As you can see, it says the firewall has blocked it, and if we're going to go ahead and continue unprotected, does it let us open it? I don't think it lets us open it. Oh, I guess it does. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. And if you were to be infected by this, that'd be kind of odd. But if you were, it's pretty simple to remove, and it doesn't make too many changes going to notice this msrt.exe, well if you restart your computer, it's going to be in your user profile folder, which is C, documents and settings, administrator, and this mrtw.exe. You can just go ahead and delete that. And another change that it makes is that it will go ahead and lower some of your security settings. Um, it tries to run itself at startup, but I guess without this uh, little registry tweak, it will constantly say, are you sure you want to open this file? So it goes ahead and edits the registry and makes .exes a uh, low-risk file, meaning that if you open it, you aren't prompted to. So you can fix that. Probably with Malwarebytes, we'll fix that hijacked um, registry key. And you get pop-ups like this sometimes, so you just didn't go ahead and close it. And I do want to keep this dangerous file on my computer. And that is pretty much it for this little fake malicious software removal tool.